Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in this week's tutorial, I'm showing you how to search for custom post types and taxonomies in the Divi search module. Now the only way to do this is with a paid extension using our Divi search helper, which adds tons of features to the existing search module. So I'm going to show you how this works. So again, this is for searching any type of custom post type. I mean, it could be products, it could be um, your portfolio, it could be something completely custom, and then also you can search for taxonomies, custom taxonomies for those post types. So let me show you how that works. All right, so I'm just gonna go to a demo site and look at the Divi search module. Um, this is by default, this is without the plugin. Um, there's not many options at all. Here we have an option to exclude pages. So like when you type something in, it would not search pages, but it would search only posts. So that's something, right? Or you could exclude posts and then it would just search pages. And they even let you search nothing. <laughs> um, really strange, okay. So now I'm going to install our Divi search helper. It's something I've created. Um, it has live Ajax search results. It has all kind of uh, features right in the search module and the search bar. And then there's also settings for the search results page. So I have it installed and I'll just go ahead and click activate now since I already have it installed. So now again, this modifies the existing module. There's no new module. That's the beauty of it. So I'm gonna just refresh the page here um, and reload the builder. All right, so now I'm opening that same Divi search module. All right, so there's going to be a lot more settings. All right, so you can put a placeholder, show an icon left or right, um, clear the search term icon. You can choose an icon. You can disable the input history, that little thing. There's options for the search button, um, search criteria. That's actually what we want. And then there's search results. Um, you can choose you know, a live drop down. You can choose how you order everything. Um, there's tons and tons of settings here. Um, just look at all this. Um, it's it's kind of crazy. And we'll have other videos on some of these different topics. This video specifically, I'm talking about the search criteria. Again, these are these are all things we've added into the module. This is the this is the default search module, but we've added all these settings into it. So what I really wanted to talk about was you know, custom posts besides posts and pages. So even something like projects, right? You know, in, in Divi, you get this project. So now you could search those, or you could search posts and projects, or maybe dogs. That's a custom post type. Here, I'll show you that. In the back end here, I installed advanced custom fields, and then I just made this random post type, and I called it dogs. And then under dogs, so you can see it right here um, in the post type. And then I added breeds as a custom taxonomy, and I added a bunch of taxonomies and dogs and different stuff, just for an example. But you could use the projects. So again, we're just showing you that these options are now available in the module um, when you have our plugin installed. So one of the cool new features that we just released is this option to include or exclude. So what you could say is search for um, everything excluding you know, pages, and then it would search for these. Or if I put it on include, then it would only include you know, whatever I select, right? Like that. So you can select the post types um, and then any taxonomy terms here. Now you can see a lot of these are blank, right? A lot of these are blank for um, tags and categories or whatever. But remember I showed you those dog breeds. So these are here. I could say, well, I only want to search within these um, and you know, in this like that. So now you could search custom post type. And then whenever you type in there, it's going to be relevant to just that post type. So you could have Think about this. You could have this search, a search module, you know, like when we go in here and, and add the search module, you could have one of these searching for, um, for posts, right? And you could have the other one searching for, I keep clicking that wrong one, for dogs and projects or whatever. So, and you could have these on different pages. So one area that you could do, like think if you had you know, something that you just wanted someone to search for products, you know, in WooCommerce. Let me go ahead and, and install WooCommerce here quick. That'll be great. Now that'll add 
products as a post type. And again, there's no way to search this in Divi without this plugin because products, you know, it won't show up in the search module. So now over here on the left side, you're going to see, you know, WooCommerce products. There's product categories. You know, I could put in here something, literally anything. You could make up whatever you want, um, a category. So now I'm going to uh, refresh this page again. Now when I go to search criteria, now we have products as an option. And then remember I added electronics right there. So you could choose you know, those categories if you wanted. Because you may, you may have a certain page even on your shop where you only want them to search within a, like a main category and find only products within that main category. So there's so many possibilities that this opens up and you can like mix and match whatever you want here. You know what I'm saying? Like, and remember the include or exclude. Now that will apply to post types and taxonomies, um, but it's a really powerful thing. And then, you know, this tutorial is mostly about, you know, the post types and taxonomies, but you can also choose like the title, the excerpt and the content um, to search within these. And then there's custom meta, um, check our documentation. You can, you can actually search by custom fields, you know, like with advanced custom fields or something like that. Um, you can t put in the um, an SKU, you know, a SKU number uh, or the term, and if you want to search by that, it's crazy. Like it opens up just everything that you can think of with search. And then don't forget, you can choose to search with the you know the theme builder search results page or with the live results drop down. So whatever you're typing in here, I don't even think. All right, yeah, they can get the live results. Um, you can actually see that on our website. In fact, I was supposed to be following this tutorial, but I didn't do a very good job of that, but you can. Uh, when you come to our main blog page here, um, you can search, you know, obviously if you type in Divi or something like that, you're gonna get all of these results. But see how I style this? You can style this however you want. Like there's just unlimited ability to design. Everything that you're seeing here is, is what I design, you know? Whatever keyword you're typing, you're gonna get these results. You can put a button here. Um, that'll go to like the, all the results if you want. But yeah, go ahead and follow the tutorial. I'll have that linked for the video. Basically, it's everything I covered. Yeah, I'm gonna have a couple other tutorials. I'm gonna have a separate tutorial related to showing you all the things about that Ajax live search dropdown and then another one for uh, the search results page. And let me know if you want any other specific tutorial on searching. So searching for content you know, on your website, it's something that's super powerful and really helpful. You want users to be able to come and find the content that they're looking for. Like that's really important. You don't want someone looking around and leaving because they can't find it. So having these extra options right in the Divi search module is kind of a big deal. And it's something I'm super proud of. It's probably one of our most like practical plugins. I mean, I think all of them are, but like really, this is something that's super practical um, for you know just about every website that has any kind of content or blog or store or portfolio or anything like that. So, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Definitely subscribe. We do tutorial related to Divi every single week. So if you subscribe, you'll just get a tutorial every week, usually like Tuesday or Thursday, something like that. Yeah, so um, let me know in the comments what you wanna see next and we'll see you all in the next video.